swash plate. Um, so here's our swash plate assembly right here. Um, we got our swash plate support over here. We have our collective sleeve uh, right here. <clears throat> we got our <clears throat> drive link right here. Okay, you notice that it's splined to the mast. Okay, uh, and then it is attached to a stud that's on the that's on the swash plate. Okay. Um, we have our um, non-rotating swash plate. Okay, so this portion is the non-rotating portion, and then you're obviously going to need a rotating portion. So, ultimate job of the swash plate is to convert push-pull motions into rotary motions. Okay. Now, with our little teaching aid here. Um, we got almost uh, everything that we need to kind of show you that. Now over here, this is our collective input right here. So if you can imagine the pilot um, pulling up on the collective uh, through push-pull rods and the servos, um, this lever would get pushed, pulled down, all right, allowing that swash plate to move up, okay? And then, basically, allowing our blades to pitch up. Okay? So, just like that. That's me going up, that's down. up, that's down. Okay? Now, these two inputs would be from your cyclic. Okay? Uh, basically, you can move your aircraft in whatever direction you need to. All right? So, that's all coming from the cockpit. Those are the inputs coming from the cockpit that are going into our non-rotating swash plate um, and then if you look inside here you can see our uniball all right there, there it is uniball or some some people call it a ball joint but I mean uniball uh, very very common term that we use okay you probably bump into that term more often all right nah, then a then a ball joint okay so 206 swash plate